Hi, my name is Sandra Shalou. Welcome to my channel. Um, it's been a while since I've posted a YouTube video, and I'm still sort of finding my way in terms of um, how how to do these. It's kind of a new medium for me. And um, but I did want to share a little bit about my story and a piece of my latest artwork um, in hopes that it inspires others on their creative journey as well. Um, I first started channeling um, through automatic writing, and then um, I had a, a reading with a woman who channels Archangel Raphael, and Raphael said my soul wanted to bring through something physical. And it was funny because I had just started doing flow art painting, um, and I was trying to, you know, create some new art for my house, and um, I started to really enjoy it, and some of the things that were coming through were pretty amazing. Um, and then I remember thinking to myself, you know, what am I going to do when, um, you know, when I run out of wall space in my house, right? So anyway, um, I'm actually getting ready to do my first market. I just started painting in February and here we are in July and I'm going to market. Um, I started with uh, acrylic painting on canvas and now I've got a new um, canvas, metaphorically, which is in the form of pendant necklaces. Um, and I'm calling it wearable art. So anyway, um, my intention with, I'm call, you know, calling what I do spiritual art. And, you know, what dropped in was art that elevates. So anyway, helping to raise vibration and bring through positive energy divine love and divine light. And uh, so anyway, I've created 11 collections now um, that are available on my website and also spiritualart.shop, uh, my Shopify website. So anyway, um, I did want to talk about this painting here. Um, I was inspired by, there's a local art show here called Art on the Mill or Art at the Mill in Millwood. It's in Clark County. And I, apparently it's become quite the regional um, art show. And anyway, um, I they have an open call for entries right now. And I was gu guided, you can set, you know submit up to five entries. So this is going to be one of them. And honestly, I, I just wanted to explain, I have had no professional training. Um, I'm self-taught, or I should say I'm divinely taught because, um, you know, I ask for guidance, you know, from my angels and guides on what paints to use, how many cups I'm using to pour on each painting, where the pup cups go, what order the the paint goes in each of the cups, et cetera. And then I intuitively um, move the canvas around and I really don't know what's going to appear. Now, sometimes beforehand, I I have a sense of which archangel or ascended master is over lighting or guiding me or, you know, inspiring me, I would say. Um, and sometimes it's a theme. And what was interesting about this painting was that I, the, the theme I kept hearing or feeling was about joy. Um, and so, um, so I was doing this and, you know, a lot of yellow was coming through. And then um, afterwards I was like, well, you know, that actually looks like a flame. And so, you know, as, you know, I use Oracle cards and different things. Um, the message that was coming through is that, well, I was going to change the name from joy to divine flame, which was what was coming forward. And of course, you know, there's always a lot of biblical um, uh, references to, you know, Moses in the burning bush and, you know, things like that too. Um, but this video showed up in my YouTube feed about, um, different signs and talked about the significance of the flame. And so the flame um, is a sign that the, you know, the, the God is present with you, or you could say the Holy Spirit, whatever term or higher self. Um, but I feel 
a great intensity through this painting and this expression. And what's been fun for me about this abstract form format is that when I show my art to other people, they often see things in it that I don't see, which is really cool and very exciting, actually. And I think that's what's the beautiful thing about contemporary and abstract art is, you know, what people can see and feel through it. So anyway, um, if you would like to um, place a con, if you see something or feel something through that painting, um, I'd love to hear it in the comments. Um, the other thing that I was noticing, I picked an Oracle card, um, you know, that has messages from crystals. And I was noticing that the green color that is um, kind of, that kind of emerged as it dried, that color of the orange and the yellow, I mean, the green and the yellow kind of reminds me of citrine. And that particular um, Oracle card related citrine to um, the quality of joy. So it's funny, like a kind of a full circle thing, but it's it's also real fun, the different ways that your angels and guides give you messages or confirmations or whatever. So what's interesting now when I'm doing these paintings is I don't really know the theme and I don't always have a specific archangel or ascended master over lighting. And then after I complete it, something will drop in, you know, in terms of, you know, maybe a higher dimension, uh, quality. So anyway, um, I hope this video was helpful and inspires you to follow your own creative passion. Um, I, this is coming off of a period of, I would say, divinely imposed isolation. Um, and so, you know, this expression that's coming out now, it's even very different from the initial ones that I started with. And so and, and very, I mean, I feel, I feel a whole lot of energy coming through them. And, um, you know, if you're a creative, you, you probably, you know, the ego mind will come in there and kind of discourage you or can, can do that. Um, but anyway, um, you know, I, I was saying to myself, Oh, I'm worried that all my paintings are starting to look the same. But then I started looking through my portfolio and I see that they do not look the same. So, um, but anyway, um, probably going into too much detail here, but hope it, hope it helps you and inspires you. And until next time, um, let love lead. Namaste. The light in me honors the light in you. Thank you.